All right, can you hear me? Hello. I just need to do a quick audio test, so. You like that sound? All right, welcome to the stream. How's Windows? Well, I had to reboot it because it crashed. Because um, I replugged my keyboard and my modded keyboard, which I'm using for this stream, um, apparently is not exactly what it wants sometimes. So let's insert the Noah's Ark CD. I, I would love to show you the actual CD, um, but my webcam is not working today. So I am, I am hella sorry about that. So let's install this CD. And uh, for any nerds out there, this is not a, like a VM or anything. This is an actual machine sitting in the corner. So I chose WinME though, cause it's got fairly good support for Win 9X stuff. And I don't really care about the DOS stuff. So let's first install this. Um, I clipped a bit there, so if I get too loud, just tell me. I'm using a new microphone and a better audio interface to hopefully kill my, um, kill my stuff, my audio issues. We're good. So the first thing we really see here, um, is the install screen. And we can see that it's got a 8-bit pitch of Noah. Oh, hey, Lumi, what's up? Yeah, that is a tad loud. I'm going to go against my better interests. Uh, I should really have an audio compressor on this. Closed captions aren't working. Hang on a second. Crap, crap, crap. Can I save it? Can I save the stream without restarting? Hello? Oh goodness. I'm sorry everyone. I switched the audio captions track. We should be back here. Welcome to the Noah's Ark setup program. Um, Noah's Ark was made by Ice-T Media, as you can see in the top right. Hey DPA, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Um, we're going to install it to C drive Noah Arc. You can see it's part of the Noah series. Um, I want to be clear that I actually searched for this game online and I was expecting something, anything. Um, the only thing I've found about this game, let alone its developer, is that this game is currently held, this specific game is currently held in some library in Sydney. Um, and that's strange to me because this is not just a game, there was a series of these. Anyway, let's start the game. Is everyone ready? Uh, this icon, this little icon of Noah's Ark here, I wish I could just blow it up. It's like, it's got a propeller at the back, I think. <gasps> no, that's not a propeller, it's a basketball hoop. Damn, Noah. All right. Yep. A David Ellsworth production. Song time. Spoke with him each day But one day God said No more man You've got to sail away He said to Noah Listen hard You've got to build a boat 
Now make sure that it's really big and make sure that it floats. When it was done, all Noah gathered animals two by two and led the long procession to his large and floating zoo. It rained and rained till all the world was covered by the flood. But Noah and the ark were safe because he trusted God. In 40 days the rain eased off and finally it stopped. The animals in the ark were safe, his family cheered a big hooray. Then thank God all through the day upon the mountaintop, upon the mountaintop. Oh no, have I ruined the VOD? Hang on a second. I just realized what I've done here. Uh oh. I was playing that song for you, everyone, and you couldn't hear it. Oh no. No, I realized what I've done. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. Can you hear this? Oops. Let's do a quick sound check. Uh, I didn't test it with a test stream. Do you hear this noise? You should hear that, right? Okay, and you can hear me talking. Damn, what's up with Twitch? I misconfigured OBS like a year ago, I guess. Oh, I'm sending the wrong audio track. Whoa, hang on a second. I'm sending the wrong audio track. This is going to make a very strange VOD. The only times I felt real love from my dad was when I was playing this game. Oh. Alright, I'm really sorry about these audio issues. I just realized what the heck is wrong with me. Okay, you can still hear everything. You can still hear me. You can still hear the pinballs. Alright. Okay, let's play this now. I'm sorry, everyone. Nope, not Action Man. Not today. But one day God said, no more man, you've got to sail away. He said to Noah, listen hard, you've got to build a boat. Now make sure that it's really big and make sure that it floats. When it was done, all Noah gathered animals two by two and led the long procession to his large and floating zoo. It rained and rained till all the world was covered by the flood. But Noah and the ark were safe because he trusted God. In 40 days the rain eased off and finally it stopped. The animals in the ark were safe, his family cheered a big hooray. Then thank God all through the day upon the mountaintop, upon the mountaintop. Okay, so I immediately see an issue I need to quickly correct. Um, so let's just... You can enjoy this music real quick while I, uh, while I quickly fix the stream. I just need to crop the video, that's all. I want you all enjoying this.
So can I crop this by hand? Oh, this is difficult. Okay. Come on, OBS. <laughs> That's a lot of time in the menu. I don't have my splits open. Oh. I should probably change the screen resolution, but I'm not going to. This is actually a kind of bopping tune, isn't it? Do you, when you think of Noah's Ark, is this what you think of? All right, hang on a second, everyone. I've made a huge mistake. Because I used the transform function instead of the crop function in OBS. Maybe, maybe Noah's Ark was a spaceship. Well, we don't know. Um, let's add a crop filter to that in OBS. C crop. I think, am I thinking of something else? Crop left. All right, maybe 200? No, 640? What's the magic? 320? 300? 290? 280? All right, if I eyeball this, Space God? Well, God did invent space, didn't he? You don't know? You think there was just space there before God? Okay, you will not regret my cropping action here. Huzzah. There we go. Now you can truly see it. All right. So what should we do first, kids? I guess we should turn the volume up. This is a lot to, this is a lot to take in, isn't it? Let's click this first, the question mark icon. Uh, hello, my name is Noah. I'm going to show you around our cool program. Anytime you can continue by clicking this button. Uh, or if you want to quit, click this button. This is called the main menu. Uh, it's from this main menu that we're able to access our story, animation section, or the fun and games section. Now, I'll show you what each of the buttons in the main menu does. First off, this is our sound level switch. Slide this switch up and down to turn your sound levels up or down. If the switch is up, it's really loud. And if it's down, it's really quiet. This is the return button. In all screens except for this one, this button will return you to the main menu. Remember, this is the main menu. Uh, this is our quick button. This button allows you to leave the program. When you click this button, you will have to click yes if you want to quit, or no if you don't want to quit. Now we'll take a look at these other buttons. Uh, story time, level one. Click here and hear the story of my friends and I read to you. It's oh no, I'm sorry. I pressed escape because I needed to be freed from that. Oh, it's so loud. <laughs> it's Q? It's Q? What are you talking about, my man? Q? Alright. Skip. 
login time 4.59 a.m. So like all good UI design, it's actually impossible to tell what I'm supposed to click or not, um, or how to quit, like how to stop something from happening. So this is the back button. Let's turn this up. Um, let's go to credit time. All right, let's look at the credits. So this is made by David Ellsworth, Gavin Said. This is the list of people that you're going to need to go through to try and figure out if they have a copy of this game. Um, it's pub produced by Ice-T Media and made with Macromedia. Uh, hi guys, my name is Noah and I'd like to show you around some of the interactive adventures that my friends and I have gotten into. Uh, there are four adventures. Uh, Noah's Ark. Well, that's about me and my animal friends. Oh God, Noah. Jonah and the Whale. Well, that's about my mate Jonah. Boy, doesn't he have a story to tell. Joey and his splendiferously bright coat. And the last one is about Benny. Better known to his mates as P.S. That stands for Prodigal Son. Uh, but I won't tell you any more. You'll just have to read the stories. I'm going to go now, but if you like, okay. you can try out some of the activities and interactive pages by clicking on this demo button. If not, you can quit by clicking on this quit button. Either way, you have fun. Thank you, Noah. All right. Um, I don't want to quit, no. All right. So there's a demo in the slideshow. I don't know how I got to this multi-racialism. That's just how things were back in the day. Was I at this menu before? I don't remember it. Oh. Okay, let's just start off with story time one. Hmm? Hmm? Play the damned story. Please. Okay, hang on. Hey, sit back, relax, and we'll read the story to you. When? A long, long time ago, in a land far away, lived a man named Noah. Uh, hey, guys. What's going on? <coughs> Noah was the friendliest man on the face of the earth. He loved animals, and the animals loved him. They were always coming to visit. Noah also had a wife. Hurry up and wash your hands, boys. Your dinner's on the table, and I don't want it getting cold. And three sons. Hello, my name is Ham. How would you be? My name is Japheth. Hi, my name is Shem. No, no, no. We need to click on stuff, don't we? No, we're going to watch the story first, I guess. I'm sorry, everyone. Go! Please, play. Hey, sit back, relax, and we'll read the story to you. One day, as Noah was working in his garden, God spoke to him. Noah? I want you to build an ark. Noah asked all his animal friends if they knew what an ark was, but none of them did. So he asked God what an ark was. God explained to him that an ark was a big boat. God, you want me to build an ark, but uh, what is an ark? It's a really big boat. Uh, but what do I need a boat for? I'm a hundred miles from the nearest beach. Because I'm going to make it rain for a very long time, and the whole earth will be covered in water. Uh, okay, well, I guess you're the weatherman. Okay, 
play. So the very next day, Noah, his sons, and some of his animal friends started building the ark. God again spoke to Noah, saying, Make the ark big enough to fit two of every living creature. And don't forget to have plenty of room for all your food. <laughs> Mrs. Noah helped by sending out the invitations to a male and a female of every animal kind in the world to come and join them on their cruise. Congratulations, you've won a free 40-day South Pacific cruise. Oh, Alicia, look, this is terrible. We've been given a free 40-day cruise. What's terrible about that, Cosmo? Well, I get seasick. I say, anything important today, dear? Yahoo! Well, I guess it's not junk mail anyway. Hmm. Oh, I can't wait to go. From every distant corner of the earth, the animals came. Two by two, they started filing aboard the ark expectantly looking forward to the cruise. As the final few filed aboard, Noah felt the first raindrops. Was that rain? Okay, Noah, baby, that's the last one. Time to close up and get this ship going. Ah, ec let's go. Now that it was raining, all the animals were on board, and the main door was closed. All passengers to the takeoff seating position, please. All boarding gates are now closed. For your own safety, move behind the red lines. No one knew it was time to start the engines and get underway. First mate Turgle the Turtle started the countdown. Control room validity check. Phase 2. And countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have ignition. All systems report out. A OK, Captain. It's just a window. Soon the rain started to come down with great force. For 40 days and nights, it continued to rain. The extended outlook for the next month that looks like rain rain more rain and just for something a little different rain it was too wet to go outside so everyone stayed indoors Lexina the cow and george the monkey loved to play cards whilst dog the dog just slept <laughs> When it eventually stopped raining, all the animals were able to go outside and enjoy the sunny days. Has anyone seen my sunglasses? I'm hungry. Where's dinner? A few of the animals got a basketball game going. Jasmine the elephant went swimming, whilst Wally the walrus finally got a chance to do some fishing. Everyone looked forward to dinner time, even if they didn't always get to eat the food that they liked. They usually had stewed bugs, since this was one of Captain Noah's favourite meals. What?
As the waters started to recede, everyone was out looking for a place to settle the ark. Ah, well, what do you think, gang? It's almost time to go home. Oh, I feel sick. Three times Noah sent out Katrina, his trusty dove, looking for dry land. Twice she returned empty-handed. Okay, Katrina, off you go. But the third time... Oh, look, it's an olive branch. There must be land nearby. Cool. Once the Ark was safely docked, the animals started filing off. They said goodbye to each other and to their captain Noah. It had been a good holiday, enjoyed by all. As Noah settled down with a cup of hot milk, God spoke to him. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and this rainbow shall be a sign of friendship between me and the earth. God was happy, and so was Noah. Ah, thanks, dog. Good job. Well done. Did you say dog? that? Why? Alright, I guess it's time to do story time too. Once upon a time, there was a nice man named Noah. Mm. Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so this is just for uh, children, I guess, like me. Um, okay, so what's next? Pair time. <laughs> so many noises. Oh, I have to click the start button? Really? Okay, it's chill. Chill, man. Noah was uh, a man of God. He spoke with him each day. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that's a turtle. Man, that's turtle. He said to Noah, listen hard, you've got to build oh. the boat. Now make sure that it's really big and make sure kind that of brute it force this. When it was done, all Noah gathered animals to <laughs> Hang up the phone, I need... Hang up the phone, I need to make a call. What do you mean? You don't like that song? What are you, racist? Okay, let's go to... I guess... Move time? Look, we can move Noah around, and we can make our own ark. Isn't this fun? Oh, there's only these two. Okay. Mind test? What's wrong with you? Alright. Um, just see if there's any secrets around here. No. Um... Neat. Let's go back. Writing time. Oh, we get to type our story here, and then I guess we get to print it? Um... 
No? <coughs> I can't write my story here. I can write numbers. Is something else grabbing focus? I guess not. I guess I can't write. Okay. All right. Hello world. The story writes itself. Okay. Print. Okay. Whatever. Balloon time. Kite. Roof. Attic. Roof. Kite. Sun. Cloud. House. Noah. Letterbox. Stairs. JPEG. JPEG. Shem. Ham. This tells you what things are. Sounds great if you're trying to learn English. Would this be your first resource? <laughs> yes, the word Noah means person. Beard. Oh. Beard. Path. Noah. Sandals. Beard. Ooh. It's weird. Alright, it's surprise time. This is where I think the bulk of my time playing this was spent. Don't forget the stamp. So that's a mailbox there, and if you click it, it flies a little piece of mail into it and says, don't forget to click the stamp. All right, let's go through these. Flowers. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Oh. I just pressed them and they died. There's a candy cane here. Oh, yummy. Just got hooked off the <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> um, the attic doesn't do anything. House doesn't do anything. Stairs. Hey, watch your step. A rabbit with a carrot came out of the stairs. Cool. The uh, foundation of the house turned into a horse hoof. Is this how I learned to read? I'm starting to think this game had a bigger influence on me than I initially thought. Okay, let's click Noah. Uh, ping pong, anyone? Hmm? Yeah, he plays ping pong. You can click his bean bag that he's sitting on. Um, and it changes pattern. What do you mean that's not ping pong? It's ping pong. <laughs> what? I just clicked Noah and he changed into like rollerblading outfits. Uh, ping pong, anyone? Hmm? Hi. Okay, so the that's paddle ball. I clicked the uh, I clicked the mailbox again. I'm gonna have to click everything twice, I think. Oh, sick! The uh... wakey wakey, rise and shine. <laughs> clicking the different, uh, that's a parking meter. Clicking the different, that's a shovel. The flower and stuff turned into a sword and stuff. Let's click the stairs again. Turned into a synth piano. You've reached the house of Mr. and Mrs. Noah. How can I help you? Wow, they have an answering service. Um, let's click the cloud. Damn, the cloud sneezed on, sneezed on him. Let's click uh, the kite that uh, this guy is flying. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. I clicked on him instead and he juggled. <laughs> All right, so I clicked on him and the kite came off, but the string didn't and he climbed up the string. Click 
clicking on the kite just makes it change color. That's pretty cool. Let's click on the sun. I just broke the sun. Oh, boy, it's hot, isn't it? All right, let's click the guy up front that seems to be holding. I don't know what he's holding. Four. <laughs> he, he hit a golf ball and then I clicked him again and he turned into a firefighter. Anything else to click? How would you be? Oh, he, he's a very friendly guy. So we can see Noah here is really living the kind of upper class life, if you will. He's just, well, this is a very Australian looking life. I forgot to click the uh, short guy in the background. Hey, do you want to see my new piano? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeehaw! Just did a somersault. Whoops. Okay, so we're in Noah's garden, and at the back we have a suspension bridge, so let's click that. It turned into a mouth. Of course, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what I think of when I see a suspension bridge, it turns into a mouth. Um, let's click this snake. Ooh. It will eat a grape and then it will change patterns. That's pretty cool. What if I click the grapes? Um, makes the apple and the banana An change. Apple a day. So the apple makes a hand come out and eat grapes and sing. And it makes the grapes explode. And it makes the banana shoot something at it. And the banana unpeels itself. Day. All right, let's let's move away from this cursed tree and let's look at the. I don't know what that is. The thing in the tree. Shaky, 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 shaky. Well, it climbs in and out of the tree, and then it also manages to uh, shake something out, like a piece of paper. What about these leaves? La, 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 la. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. How how far are we into the stream? Thirty eight minutes, and we we have a a Native American joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no. There's a flower. Let's click that. The dog likes the flowers, I think. Hmm. And there's like a reindeer thing. Hey. Oh, I don't like that. You will either eat the eat the garden or he will say hey to you in the way that no one wants anyone to say hey to them. And if you click him he turns into a guy with a mustache and monocle. I don't like that. What about the garden in general? That changes colours, that's nice. Um, what if we click this bird that's on this spade in the background? It touches this 
this carnivorous nectar plant. It's a, it's some kind of cup plant. I don't remember the name. And it, uh, it snaps shut like a Venus flytrap. Yeehaw. Oh, and it can turn into a bald eagle. Disco garden. Yeah. What about the plant? It will drink the water and burp. I don't like that 50 hertz hum they keep getting into the audio track. Someone had a ground loop going wrong. Let's click Noah's hat. It just has an animal put flowers in his beard. Oh, if you click him, he, he turns into a surfer. That's pretty cool. Let's click the ball. It can bounce around. It can become a bowling ball. That's pretty cool. What about this, uh, this trowel? It will do a little dance or it will turn into a knife and fork. It does not sound like a didgeridoo. Hang on. Alright, let's click the hose. It dances. It will spray at the dog. Let's click the dog. I'm round and squishy and love to be kicked. He kicks the ball and says something extremely strange. Hey, dog! Someone throws a water balloon at him. And he can turn into a disco dancer. I'm round and squishy and love to be kicked. I do like the attention to detail how they make a little, the little um, back wheel of the, uh, oh no, I can't remember what it is. What's the word? Um, he's carrying something and it has a wheel at the front and a little thing at the back. So when he puts it down, it stays up. <laughs> I'm round and squishy and I love to be kicked. Oh no. Uh, let's click the mouse. It's on top of the carrots. Whatever could happen here. I love carrots. Okay, it eats carrots. And it turns into a big, a beefy bird. I love carrots. What about the wheel of this, uh, thing? Hey, dog. All right, that just messes with the dog. Is there anything else we missed in this scene? All right, no, it's just the mouth. All right, let's go to page three. All right, um, let's click on the arc. Nothing happens. Let's click on this dude that is on top of the arc. Looks kind of dangerous to me. He plays a... Uh, a horn and it does that. Oh, and he shows off that he can like move around the arc. Let's look at this pelican. Pelican? Hey tape, what's up? One, two, three. There's a man living in the pelican's mouth. Yeah, hey tape, long time no see too. Uh, you got Discord or anything? I don't know what people use. Yeah, it's Lumi, Lumi and Taper here. It's the it's the BL crew. One, two, three. You should DM me your Discord. All right, so yes, yeah, so you got to send me Discord. That's the only way.
All right, let's uh, let's click on this construction equipment. For anyone that uh, likes feet, there you go. Um, he stood up and you could see his feet because this is not real construction equipment, it's just him. And if you click it again, the piece of wood turns into like a bow. And if you click it again, he does some basketball. That's pretty sick. Alright, let's click the dog. Alright, well, his log that he's carrying turns into a uh, bazooka and he shoots a banana. Whoa. <laughs> he holds the wood like he's going to drop it and he goes, whoa. I'm not on Furaf. Damn, everyone add tape. Add tape to Discord. <laughs> Lumi, what do you like about Discord? If you click the dog again, he turns into a film director. All right, this dog weirds me out. Let's click on the hippo that is climbing the- One, two, three. Uh, I don't like that vor stuff. Let's uh, click on the rhinoceros. I think that's a rhinoceros climbing up the arc. Say cheese. Oh, it takes a photo of us. It does some nail gun stuff. Say cheese. That's pretty cool. What about this uh, butterfly? Hey, give me that back. It takes Noah's hard hat. Uh, what was that measurement again? Forty-three point two, wasn't it? Noah asked for a measurement, and a bird in his beard gives him the measurement. <laughs> the plank of wood made baby noises. And if you click him again, Noah turns into a snorkeling swimmer guy. Uh, what was that measurement again? 43.2, wasn't it? <laughs> We could get some depth if the guy with the bird in his beard got inside the seagull. Oh, so this is the fetish page, I guess. If you're measuring a piece of wood and it makes baby noises, what do you do? What's the protocol? Do you still cut it? Why does the wood make a baby noise? Alright, let's click the... Uh, the bear. He's standing next to the uh, one of the sons. The guy that was playing golf earlier. He does some welding. He does some welding on the wood, yes. Uh, then he has a crazed expression with a chainsaw. Then he turns into an actual teddy bear. Oh, that's horrific. I don't know if this is an anti-feminist game. So far we haven't like seen, well, Mrs. Noah's only appearance in the game is that she shows up and she sends out cards and stuff. Um, what about this guy holding the hammer? Throws the hammer up in the air, it flies off. Did Mrs. Noah make lunch for everyone? I don't know, maybe we'll find out. Yeah, nail that wood. Hey, <laughs> he puts his hand up to wave at you, and it's got like a band aid on his thumb. I guess that's from all the nailing he did. Let's click the wood. Oh, the paint cans make a smiley face. Same weekday. Same drip tray, 
Paint Man. <laughs> it's Paint Man. <laughs> same weekday, same drip tray. It's Paint Man. <laughs> all right. That's all on this page, I think. Oh, wait, there's a cannon at the top. Let's click the cannon. It shoots like a ping pong ball and it bounces around the screen. It turns into a seal. I think that's everything on this page. Um, off we go. This is the page where they send out invitations. Congratulations, you've won a free 40-day South Pacific cruise. Nice. Congratulations, you've won a free 40-day South Pacific cruise. So we have like a four-pane display. There's penguins, there's pigs, there's frogs, there's hippos. Uh, let's click the penguins first. There's some ice cubes there. Nothing. Let's click the left penguin that's holding the cruise thing. Yahoo! She seems very happy. She fell on her back. Uh, they both turned into salt and pepper shakers. Yahoo! The one on the right. A submarine comes out of their penguin hole at the bottom. Must be dinner time. The penguin grabs a fish out of there. That's kind of horrifying. Um, just because he turns into like a bowling pin, but the wife has to turn him back. What if she didn't do that? Let's click the clock in the pig's house. It turned digital. Let's click their painting. I don't know what that painting is. Not painting, it might be a photo. The time goes from three to four. It took an hour to do that transform. Um, so yeah, it's a painting of two pigs, I guess. Let's click on the door. Nothing. All right, let's click on Mama Pig. Oh, no. Of course, the, the ironing she's doing cuts into flames. Her hair curls come out and she has lots of hair. And if you click her again, she turns into some 60s fashion stuff. Oh, no. All right, let's click the male pig. He just ate a hamburger. Hmm. Okay. Hey, hey, look at this. Yes, that's a nice cruise you have. And he turns into a monkey with a banana. I'm going to assume that that is not a hamburger. Let's click these books in the back of the frogs thing. The trophy. The trophy has a mouse in it. I think it goes around all the different frames. Yeah, it goes up to the penguin's frame above it and then jumps back down. Let's click the plant. It just jumps. It just jumps. Let's click the guy's mug. It changes color. All right, let's click Mrs. Frog. <laughs> Filling up the guy's mug. Snorkeling. Okay, well, that's what women do, I guess, in this game. You really want that mug because it changes color or you just like it. Let's click on the man frog. 
uses his tongue to grab the mug and then drink it. He kisses his wife. He turns into an old white man. All right, let's head on over to the hippo house where the time is half past one. The clock grows a mustache and bings itself. That's weird. Let's click the phone. Ring, ring, ring. Do you want that phone? Do you want the phone that has the... the the, the mouthpiece turn into a mouth and say ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. You don't like that? Why not? What's wrong with it? Good night. Oh, the curtains close and go good night. Good night. Right, let's click the TV in the bottom left. There's barely anything there. That uh, doesn't do anything. All right, let's click Mama. Mama Bear or... Wife bear or s sister bear? They say male and female, right? They don't say. All right, let's just let's just drop that subject. Did you get a cruise invitation? Oh yes, I did. Isn't it going to be wonderful? Bear? Yeah, it's a rhino. I'm sorry. So, womanly woman talks on the phone to other woman. But it wasn't about... It wasn't about a man thing, was it? Did we almost... Did we almost pass, like, the two women talk to each other about something that isn't a man test? <laughs> <laughs> it's feminist. Alright, um... Then she also coughs. Did you get a cruise invitation? COVID. Oh yes I did. Isn't it going to be wonderful? Alright, let's click the this above looking rhino. Game show. Game show where tonight's contestants are playing for Game Show where tonight's con He changes channel and the pig's doors above act like four TVs. Well, how'd you be? I don't know if that was racist. He just turned into... I don't... I didn't have enough time to comprehend that. It won't be wonderful. You'll be... You'll be stuck at a cruise ship in a foreign country like at the start of a pandemic. Yeah. It'd be like that. Also, I'm sorry about my microphone keeping peaking. I think there's some auto gain happening due to the noise reduction. And so if I don't talk long enough, then uh, it'll just balance my audio up. And I'm not sure what to do about it right now. So we're at the scene where, where Noah is boarding all his passengers onto the Ark. And the Ark, let's click the clouds, nothing. Let's click the top of the arc. Lift off. Lift off. It shoots off into space. <laughs> and the 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 door to the arc will make a laughing noise. Then the front of the arc kind of comes off. <coughs> what about the basketball thing? Does the basketball do anything? No, I can't <laughs> click that yet. What about this off-coloured wood? It doesn't do anything. Why would it do anything? Alright. So let's click this sign that says snakes check, lions check, platypus check, ducks not checked. Something else, I don't know, it's not checked. There's a, like a flight attendant or something next to it, but it's like a bird standing up. It looks, I don't know what bird that is. What bird is that? Hey. Takes off his hat and there's a colorful mohawk. 
I wish my pen would work. Oh, so it's a pen issue. You can't tick the ducks box. It turns into a 60s disco outfit that looks kind of punk in a way. Hey. All right, here's Noah. Let's click Noah. His, uh, his umbrella turned into a carousel. That ping noise is going to condition me into thinking something suddenly changed. <laughs> yep, there is rain. That is weird. It turned, I clicked it and it turned it into like some 70s i think this is more 70s stuff where he's just holding like a candy cane and he looks looks kind of like a pimp it's uncle dane <laughs> all right um so let's click can we click his hand does that do anything no i like how it doesn't move his hand in the background though so he has like two hands for a second it's a little weird Let's click these kangaroos. Throws a, he throws a, uh, a football at the skunks in front. Eats two apples, turns into a mouse. Hate crime? What? No. Um, click the female kangaroo. She plays basketball. She turns into a white surfing grandmother. Um, so something I got to ask about this. How does it make you feel that the skunks don't have any clothes, but the kangaroos have shirts? I'll just leave that there while I click on the ducks. Uh, male duck. He gets like a fin at the top of his head and he cuts it off. He turns into a 70s thing. He makes duck noises. The kangaroos have bigger titties. Wouldn't want any roo titties hanging out? What? Why are you both... Why are you both at that? I don't understand how you both... What? Alright, so the female duck... Blows bubbles. Goes into 70s style. Please, we're not going to lewd the rude titties. All right. Okay. You get that? All right. Let's click the male skunk. <laughs> what? He gets sprayed. He turns his tail into like hair. All right, and the female skunk. She has fruit on her head. She turns into... She turns into roses. What about the bags? So there's someone trapped in the bags. And the bags behind it turn into pants. This got very dark. It just gets darker. Wow. Okay. So here is the inside of the arc, which looks kind of like, I don't know. There's a lot of things happening here. So let's click the wall. It has wallpaper of different animals. So at the top, there's some, uh, or well, at the top of the room, someone is getting smuggled into the ark. At the top of the room, there's uh, various birds. So let's click this one. Yeah. Okay. Turns into like a secret service type thing. And then it blows a whistle, but the whistle is like a party thing. That turns into a pirate. 
Yeah. Okay. The bird next to it looks like kind of a hedgehog thing. And its arm comes out and beeps at or I can only describe as like the flight engineer controls for this arc. Oh, it changed rainbows. Is it cursed that I just got reminded of of Funky Shirt from Blockland? When, when they changed colors. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Let's click this kind of, I don't know if this is a hen or a chicken or something. Uh, rooster with a basketball shirt on. It throws a paper plane. It rubs the back of that kind of spiky thing. And it shows its eggs. If a bird showed you its eggs, what would you do? And then there's, there's a, uh, <laughs> you don't know what you would do. You'd be confused. Yeah, this game makes a lot of confused feelings in everyone, doesn't it? Put them back in the bird? No. All right, let's click. I think this is a hippo. Welcome to the game show where tonight's <laughs> contestants are playing for a glass of milk, three jelly beans, and a soggy egg sandwich. Let's put our hands together as we welcome the star of the show, Leroy the Lemon. All right, so he watches TV on the flight display. I don't know if the space thing is a prank. I don't know if it's established that it's like a joke. Oh, and he turns into like a, a rapper. All right, so on top of the flight display, there's a, there's a cat. It looks like, I don't know how to describe that. It falls down. It's thinking of fish. Wow. And it falls down. This seems like a lot of technology for biblical times. Well, this is just how things were back then. Let's click on some of the gauges. I'm a temperature gauge. <laughs> the temperature gauge says I'm a temperature gauge. All right. Okay. What well, if I click you again? I'm a temperature gauge. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. All right, let's click on the other gauge. I wish I was a temperature gauge. <laughs> Why? 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 The other gauge, it wants to be a temperature gauge. We've lost all the technology that was in Noah's Ark. Really? Okay. Let's click the display. The continuing saga of the cat who knew the dog, who knew the mouse who knew the cat who knew the dog. This week's episode starts off in a disused paper plate factory. So it plays some TV show. The outer planet of Saturn. It tells us that that is Saturn, even though, even though that this planet clearly has a crater surface. Like, that's not Saturn. Saturn is gaseous. The continuing saga of the cat who knew the dog, who knew the mouse who knew the cat who knew the dog. This week's episode starts Don't worry with about it. I will worry about it. The outer planet of Saturn. All right, let's click the plant in the background. It's like a, I don't know what this is. Is this about graph theory? What do you mean? The friendship graph seems complicated. Yeah, it might be. Uh-oh. 
the, the plant went a chew. And it blows bubbles and it sneezes. All right, well, let's click Noah. Move out of the way. He's honking. Why? Good evening. Tonight's headline news story, the continuing rainfall. Early reports indicate that most parts of the world will be inundated. Okay, well, he tuned into the news. Let's click his uh, steering wheel boat thing. It doesn't do anything. Let's click no again. He turned into like a scuba diver. Okay, well, okay, Noah. So now we have the flight engineer turtle. Let's click the turtle. Their feathers went up. I just love raspberry ice cream. Just ate an ice cream. He turned into it like a TV show of himself. Uh, all right, let's click like on the flight controls. It's like a elevator for a mouse at the bottom. Uh, let's click the mouse. The mouse goes into the elevator. And then when it comes out of the elevator, it goes onto the screen. It's a little strange why that happens. Um, let's click the flight deck. The radar, I'm guessing that's what it is. Doesn't look too good. It has a dot going around. If I saw that, I would kind of panic. COVID is a great argument against anarcho-capitalism. Isn't anything a great argument against it? Um, let's click the, the sine waves that are on the other screen. It plays various tones. Let's click some buttons. Makes Morse code noises. Set arc to stun. What? All right, next page. So people are in the arc. And by people, I mean animals. Um, come to think of it, I like how this story doesn't tell why God flooded the earth. He's just like, I'm just going to flood the earth, Noah. Doesn't matter why. Okay, so... Um, let's start clicking on stuff. Let's click on the window. The civilization became too advanced. There's a giraffe outside. Giraffe. Giraffe. And rain. Okay, let's click this band-aid on the wall okay so if you click it the band-aid falls off and water starts pouring in so that's uh sometimes god gets a little testy yeah let's click the window hey, look at that little doggy over there the snorkeler is looking at the dog that's a little weird and there's a fish outside. Hey, look at that little doggy over there. How is water coming up in all the way if there's a window open? How is that window underwater? All right, so see how there's like a little kind of recess here, I think. I think this is actually like some kind of uh, swimming pool that's actually behind this wall. Let's click this plank that's coming off the wall. 
Watch where you poke. Hey, watch where you poke. There's a uh, rabbit behind it. I think the same rabbit from earlier. So there's like a Noah's Ark cinematic universe when it comes to these pages. Um, let's, there's two mouse holes. Let's click the left one. Cat! I said mouse, not snake! Oh. A snake accidentally came out of it against the game developer's wishes. Cat! I said mouse, not snake! Oh. Uh, the right hand mouse hole. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. A little ball comes out of it. Alright, let's click the TV. An actual storm comes out of it. Great. It turns to Rainbow Channel and a toucan comes out. Okay. And the lion that is watching TV on basically the chair that... This lion looks kind of sketchy to me. Oh, the chair is like a recliner massaging chair then. And if you click it, they turn into a Lion King. Which does say a little bit about how the game would probably, like, if you're rounding up all the animals, you want to get, like, the alphas, don't you? Let's click the dog bowl. I like chunky brown dog food. All right. I like chunky brown dog food. The dog bowl has an opinion on what kind of food it likes. Let's click the dog. Hey, dog. It gives the dog a bone and the bone is eaten by the dog. The dog tells me to be quiet. The dog turns into a cat. It turns into a cat. There's no consistency in this game. All right, I'm getting a little angry at the game. Let's click on this cow, this bull with udders and horns. Uh, really doing some man spreading there with udders almost on the little table that they're using to play cards. Mm, four aces, what a bargain. Okay, well they have four aces and a king and they think it's a bargain. And they wear a suit. Mm, <laughs> four aces. What a bargain. Yeah, so... Yeah, so everyone in this game has fresh sneakers, apparently. What about this cards? Can we click on the cards? Oh, the monkey has stashed a card. And the monkey turns into, like, an actual gorilla. That just makes you think of Homer Simpson? No. Let's go to page eight. And everyone is out having the time of their life in this flooded post-apocalyptic world. Let's click on the elephant that is swimming. They're on like a little raft thing. They went in the water. They went in the water. It gave them, like, uh, something to drink. There's a dolphin there that's looking up at the uh, walrus that's at the top of the ark fishing. Oh, the walrus. No, no, the dolphin found a shell. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is why God wanted to flood the world. The tech got too far. We're due for another flood in that case now that we have Bitcoin going. Nice. Did I uh, flip? Let's click on the kind of fishing rod lure. No, let's click on the walrus that has the fishing rod. Hey, stop that. There's a guy in the water? What? There's a guy in the water. Is that cannon? I mean, we saw a, we Whoa! saw a, 
Oh, he nearly fell off. We saw another guy in the water, so maybe he's like cannon that guy in the water. And he turns into an actual fish. Alright, let's look at the dog. Some kind of shark flew up at the dog and the dog barked at it. He turned into a potted plant. Um, okay, he turned into like a boat thing. His little raft had a boat propeller. This game should just be named things turning into other things. Yeah, that seems like it would be appropriate. Let's click the TV that's in the water. I'm the king of the castle. A mouse comes up and says they're the king of the castle. And the extended outlook for the next month. That looks like rain, rain, more rain. And just for something a little different, rain. So the TV plays a show that has the newscaster saying it's raining, but also has air traffic control. And the TV turns into like, I don't know what you call them. Um, maybe if this game had like a, uh, let me ask what things are, but it's like a floaty thing. But it's like, I'm not sure. Let's click the rudder. It changes colors. That's pretty cool. There's some eyes in the water. Let's click that. Hello? 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 So the eyes have a tentacle and they knock on the door of the ark, which is just a giant door. And one of the sons opens the door which is probably not good for the boat, right? And he is confused and bewildered that there is nobody at the door. <laughs> oh, he wants to go swimming. <laughs> but I guess it's too cold. All right, let's click the basketball hoop. Nothing. Let's click the bird holding a basketball. Hey! Watch my gnarly, bodacious, kick and flip arrow twist 360 rotation, dude! Uh, well, they bounced up, but then the, the arc has its own arm that pushes the ball back down. Um, they didn't do sound for that one, but they just threw the ball and it bounced and hit the water and then a uh, whale used its blowhole to get the ball back up, alright? Hey, watch my gnarly, bodacious, kick and flip arrow twist 360 rotation, dude! Okay, and there's a guy that he's playing basketball with. Let's try and... He does a quick drink. Oh, come on, try and get past me. Come on, come on. Seems very aggressive. Um, but he holds up, he has like these... foam hands, I think, or boxing gloves. And they both turn into an apple and a pineapple. Okay. Let's click um, this goat talking to this diver that has a thumbs up. <laughs> so they played a horn and they walked into the water. <laughs> they had to turn into something. <laughs> <laughs> So the diver tried to jump out, but their oxygen cord bounced them back up like a bungee cable. Oh, they take their hat off and it's actually a lion. That's pretty cool. And then there's a bear wearing a nice striped t-shirt. <coughs> Let's click him. So there's a fish to the uh, dolphin. Hey guys, look what I can do. He stands on the edge of the boat and does a kind of unimpressive, to be honest, a balancing act. He does not turn into anything. Safety regulations tell him not to do that. Of course, yeah, this guy doesn't care. 
And there's Noah at the top of the boat looking out. And clicking on him turns the top of the boat into a saddle. <coughs> and the chimney at the top of the boat will cough. <coughs> Yeah, if I click Noah, he will move around and look out another window, or a, a bear will scare him. And he turns into a guitar. He turns into a guitar. Okay, so this is the food section of the story. Um, and it's serving bugs. <laughs> Noah's favorite food, bugs. Do the clouds do anything? No. Let's click the sun. Whoa. That was bizarre. That was like 4D stuff. I clicked the sun and a shark ate the sun and then the entire game's UE went black and then you can only see the eyes of people. That's, that is taking it a step further. There's a bat at the top. Let's click the bat. Hey, wanna buy a watch? The bat offers you possibly illicit watches. The bat bangs its head. All right. The bat turns into a uh, banana bunch. Hey, wanna buy a watch? Today's bug menus, and there's some hands and some eyes next to it, just floating there. Let's click that. It's a person that tries to eat the, uh, the menu. Okay. So, Let's click, there's like a hand coming off the side of the screen that's kind of looking like it's going over the food that's gonna be served to people, so let's click that. Nothing, let's click the food that will be served to people. The lobster that comes out of it does a flip and it gets scored. Green gungy stuff. Beans and spaghetti stew. So apparently it's beans and spaghetti stew. There's some eyes in the floorboard. Let's click those. Salt and pepper. Alright. Salt and pepper. It does it is salt and pepper. Let's click on the alligator. It eats the, the bug that flies around as if it is a frog with a long, with a long, uh, tongue. Hmm. Let's click its hat. It eats, it eats the food and its eyes go like in a weird kind of drug, drugged up, bizarre thing. How are they going to have a male and female of every species if they eat the lobster? Well, at the start, he made sure to say that he also got food. He turns into a lob... an alligator with a boot on its face. Alright. Let us click the frog that is waiting in line. It bounces and does a hang ten on, on the coat thing. It's a coat hanging with the bat on top of it. It scratches its its tummy. It turns into a waiter. What about the dog? Let's click the dog. It blows the plate that the porpoise in front of it is balancing on its nose. It turns into... I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It's like a, it's like a 70s... I don't know what that is. It's too fast. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's the dog that's dressed differently. And it throws the plate up in the air. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, the porpoise is going to... It threw some stuff up in the air. It's thinking of eating a fish. The plate turns into a lawnmower. I thought that it's throwing stuff up in the air meant that it would balance that on its nose as well, but I guess not. And then there's this kind of goat in front that looks horrified that it's being given bugs. So let's uh, click him. Oh, and it turns into like a 12 story hamburger. <laughs> Yes, it is not liking the bug food. It's littering in low orbit with those plates and forks. Yeah. Alright, so we get the page where they're like, they're about to... They're sending off their uh, dove and stuff and they're like, well... Better find some land soon, because we're all getting pretty tired. Um, nowhere at the top looks like... Oh, what are you doing on my desk, cat? What do you want? You can't be up here. I know it's cold, but it's not time for you to be up on my desk. I have to use the key... Well, I have to use the mouse at least. You know what, I'll move the keyboard and the mouse and you can sit down. As long as you don't bug me, you can be in front of me, okay? Is that alright? Is it because I'm talking a lot? Is it because my room is cold? I don't understand what you want from me. I slept for like 18 hours yesterday with her, it was kind of weird. I am giving her pats, and I'll give her a hug there. Go on, off you go. Off you go. No, you don't want to go away? Come on, cat, you're eating up stream time. Yep, you're going to lick my fingers, I guess. All right, well, let's keep clicking some stuff, and I'll give the cat a hug. Maybe I can turn this into like, if I give her a big enough hug, she'll give me some warmth because it's pretty cold at the moment. As long as you don't sit on my, on my uh, keyboard, it's all good. So let's click the happy face that is attached to the boat. It's like a sticker. I don't know if they're going to get sued for that, but that sounds like that, um, that cancer organization where they like say laughter is the best medicine and it turns into a flower of course um anything else no uh, let's click on noah he looks done with everything he puts his he puts his thumbs up to show that he is ready for all this the dove flies off and he gets an olive branch. Oh, I just love soggy egg sandwiches. Okay, well, he loves soggy egg sandwiches. He turned into a boxer with a black eye. That's strange. Um, I can't put her in my jacket. She's a big cat. Um... Let's click on this dove. It drinks water and then it's like, I got to get the airspeed. Okay, what are you sitting on, cat? Alright, yes. If you're going to sit down, sit down at least. Yeah, sit down. Don't just walk all over my desk. Sit down, alright? Oh, you, you're not interested in sitting down, huh? Well, go into the bed. Go into the bed. There's nothing here for you. All right. Let's click on this bird that has a satellite dish. Or not a satellite dish. Some kind of antenna.
still doing the news announcement, I guess. Yep. I already got rid of the tube monitor years ago tape. My cat was unhappy with it, uh, my other cat. All right, let's click on this sick pig. Oh, I feel sick. He informs us that he feels, or she informs us that they feel sick and they turn green. <laughs> they get some kind of dissolved tablet fizzy drink and it makes them oink. They turn into a punk. Um, we get this bird that's wearing a necktie with a eyeglass, not an eyeglass, a telescope. What are they doing? Look what I can see. The telescope has a telescope. They clean the telescope. Look what I can see. All right. Then we see this kind of big kind of, not an, is that an echidna? It looks like an echidna. Just click them. They get some sick goggles. Anteater. Is that what it is? Anteater. All right. Give me a look. Thanks. <laughs> they steal the telescope and then they're like, thanks. And they turn into a, uh, into like a jester that has a rat nose. It flashes very briefly. Let's click on the cat. <laughs> They put makeup on. They do like, they bench like an unknown amount, but they do it pretty fast. Cat, what do you want? Ah, oh, she's made cookies. That's pretty cool. All right, let's click on, um, the, the brother guy? Hey, hey, hey. He puts sunglasses on, that's pretty sick. He pulls on the radio antenna, not great. And the bird on top of his head holding the radio antenna turns into like a bird in a hammock. Hey, hey, hey. See you, tape. See you, Lumi. Oh no, not tape. Tape, you stay. See you, Lumi. Oh, the cat's got my hand. Oh, the mouse. No, anything but that. I have to use my hand for the mouse. All right, you can't just rub your face on my, on my hand like that. Let's click the lion. Hey, I've got a bite. Oh, he got a shoe from the water. So he just hey, roars. I've got a bite. And he turns into a mouse. All right. Uh, let's click on this window at the bottom of the arc that has water in it. Oh, it's a washing machine. Oh, it's got fish in it. All right. And then there's like a little kind of double blind window thing. A mouse with a telescope comes out. <laughs> What the heck? The cat just came out and got slammed by it. Jeez. Look at this. Jeez. And let's click on the anchor. It turns in, it has a, it has a mouth. And eyes. Okay, let's move on to page 11. Abuse, abuse is funny. So now they depart in the arc. And it's like an airline because we still haven't decided like if there's any kind of thing that an arc is like in real life that we can use for the game. Uh, let's click the horse at the top that's wearing a uh, suit. It's blowing bubble gum. It pops. Guess who? My God. 
it puts on a mask that looks horrifying. No, 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 cat. Don't, don't look at the back of my computer. No, 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 Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can't, you don't go there, all right? If you're going to be on my desk, you have to, come on, come over here. Come over here. All right? Sit. Stay. You can't just walk around my desk, all right? I know I'm not paying that much attention to you. And I know you're probably hungry or whatever. But you just got to chill out, okay? Look, go, go onto my bed. Go onto my bed. Yeah, go onto my bed. Yeah, you're going to go onto my bed? No, you, you want to be here. All right, well, the show must go on. So we're going to click this uh, um, lifesaver. And it 3D prints an apple. It has feet. That's pretty cool. You're gonna rub your face in my microphone, huh? Let's click on the exit sign. Not a fan of that sign. Not very clear, but just stutters. Uh, there's a chandelier inside and the staircase. Let's click the stairs. A player tone and change colors. Let's click the chandelier inside. Nothing. All right, let's click the flower pot on the windowsill. It turns into a helicopter and flies away. Well, no, it doesn't turn into a helicopter. It makes helicopter noises and flies. Let's look at this. I don't know what that is. A fish? An alligator? Crack. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? It pulls on the giraffe's ear as if it's like a pull toy. It turns into a clown. It turns it, it puts clown makeup on. Crack. Polly want a cracker? Yes, Polly hello cat. Let's click the giraffe. It, all its spots come off. And they get painted back on. It ends up wearing a suit and hat. Alright. There's a frog. Let's click the frog. Makes the screen green. Okay. Uh, let's click the radio. It's, it has a tongue and the tongue comes out. Um, let's click Noah. He has birds under his airline hat and he offers flowers to the departing badgers, I think, or woodchucks. No, they might, I think they're platypuses. He, he wears like a biking uniform. That was three birds, one too many. What do you mean one? He turns into a car. He turns into a car. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Cat, why? Why? My allergies. Oh, cat. I don't know you mean well, but your fur, it does not sit well with me. No, is a car, does that mean it's consensual? I don't know. All right, let's click the baggage thing. There's someone in the bag. Um, let's click another bag. There's a lizard with a guitar in the bag. All right, the cat has finally laid down. 
finally. It's happened. Um, let's click the guy with like a Hawaiian shirt at the baggage thing. His clock is like, you know, it's a watch, but then it has like a real clock come out of it. He turns into a chicken biker. There's some eyes under the arc. Let's click those. It's the tentacle. Hey, that? It's the tentacle playing pranks on Noah. Please don't poke me in the eye. Oh, because I'm clicking on you. I'm sorry. Hey, who's that? All right, let's click the uh, platypus, the male one. It uses its tail as like a, as a ping pong ball thing. It turns into like a, a sailor or something. That's a very old, it looks like a navy thing. And then there's the woman and they're wearing like, I don't know. I don't know what, like there's a bikini, but there's also like a leaves as a skirt. She's eating wood. So I guess these are badges. Ah, she's a princess with a magic wand. All right, next page. Last page. Um, it's the scene of them all celebrating after God has, well, now they're on land. So in the background, there's a rainbow. Let's click that. That's pretty sick. Changes cycles through the colors. Let's click the arc. I wish I was a speedboat. The arc wishes it was a speedboat. It tried to turn into a speedboat. It turned into a castle. I wish I was a speedboat. Um, let's click on this butterfly. It turns into a thong, like a thong that you wear on your foot. It, it does a yo-yo. Okay, what about the path to the arc? Does that do anything? Or the leaves or anything? No. Alright, Kat, I'm going to put my hand down on the table so that you can lay down on it or whatever you want. Um, there's one of the sons using a tractor. He uses the tractor a lot. Let's see if that happens again when I click it. <laughs> oh, right now. He inspects the tractor and he has to wind it up like a 1920s car. What about the backhoe? Oh, it turns into a muscle car or something. Let's click the B. Stay tuned for another action-packed adventure of Super B! Oh. Oh, the super bee, and then it turned into honey. I, that's weird. I don't like that. Let's click the rabbit with the hoe. It spins the hoe. It turns its ear into a bow. Oh, is there some method to the madness here? Since hoe there rhymes with bow. And then it turns into like an ancient Egyptian. Okay, well, almost. Hey, cat. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Um, also, please warm up my hands a little bit more. Um, so we have the dog here. He drinks coffee in one gulp. He turns into a Native American. He turns into a Native American. Okay, well, I had almost forgotten, but I guess not. Let's click the mouse. Hey, get out of there. It goes into the, the teacup. Want a biscuit? It eats a biscuit. Let's click Noah, who looks pretty tired. He pours coffee into the ground. 
and the flowers grow. He turns into a clown. Wow. Are you gonna go away, cat? Are you gonna leave? Yeah, you're stretching. Off you go, cat. Yay! Living on your own. Yay! Ah, oh, he's only gotten to the edge of the desk. All right. Let's click on this flower. Flowers. Let's click on this lizard. G'day, mate. All right, he says g'day. His hose causes like blowback. And he has a little tricycle. G'day, mate. I think that's everything. I think that's everything in the in the in the story click adventure thing. I think that's it. Hey Neozuki. Wait, that's a Are you the Neozuki from uh from Blockland? Or is that sick? See, I remember people from Blockland. No, I don't want to quit. Oh, cat wants to go out of my room. All right, out you go. Come on. Out. Go into the cold, see if I care. Frost outside. The jigsaw time. Uh, I think we're at creation time. What's creation time? Oh no. What is this? It's a doll thing? Ah, uh, let's click on the head. So you can change the head and the body to various characters, various animals, and the feet. You don't like this? Um, Gotta... <laughs> we have to make something here, I'm sorry everyone. Um, let's go with... Let's go with monkey feet, since they kind of look like human feet. And, uh... What about the mid-body? Uh, we'll go with a chicken, I guess. And we'll go with... Um, a duck head. Ah, so that's a duck body. And there's a dog head. We like dogs. Let's put some shades on him. Um, you gotta have that sick belt. Um, and we need these sneakers, I think. Damn, that removes the feet thing. Um, and we're gonna need a uh, scarf because it's pretty cold right now. There we go. Let's go back. Um, let's go to jigsaw time. All right, what are we doing? We click that and it turns into, oh no, this isn't a jigsaw, is it? No, it's one of these horrible puzzles. I can turn it into a jigsaw, I think. I just randomizes it. Is this from Temple OS or what? No, this is like a Windows 95 game. Uh, I don't quite understand the rules of this. Let's have Noah explain it. In this game, we put the picture back together. Whoa! Click this button for an easy jigsaw. This button for a little bit harder jigsaw. And this button for the hardest jigsaw. Click on this button to reshuffle all your pieces. This button takes you forward to the next jigsaw. Ah, this one takes you back to the previous jigsaw. To reassemble your jigsaw, just click on a piece, then click on another piece. The first piece changes place with the second. Go on, have a go. Do you like Australian Noah? All right, so I think this one goes there. That goes there. 
Um, this guy goes down here in the bottom right. That's a path there. That dude was flying his kite there. Um, so we're just going to quickly click around. Oh, no, that was right. I've just got no in the wrong place. Um, that, that, that. We did it. That was enough jigsaw. Match time. Alright, I'll click start. Alright, I'll select three, I guess. Okay, we have to... This is a quiz. Alright. This guy is a Jepeth. This is a window. This is an arc. This is a tire. This is a wombat. This is a window again. That's an anchor. At space. No, that was Saturn. It said yes for space. Wow. This is wallpaper. That's a plate. That's the ocean. That's a kiwi. This game does not have a speedrun.com entry. This is a fox. It's a monkey. It's a kite. That's a beard. That is a clock, that is a collar, that is a plank, that are, those are eyes. Oh. Congratulations. You've been added to the Ox Hall of Fame. Oh, enter my name? I guess I can't. Do I need to focus it or something? How do I enter my name, please? That was impressive. Maybe you're just slow. Oh, well, I have a high IQ. So that's probably it. I've got a 100% IQ. And I've also been staring at this game. Is it the box next to the Noah series? Yeah, I mean, I'm supposed to be entering text there, but sometimes this game decides that I can't do that unless it's like crashed. Okay, well, I got 2000 points. It's music time. Do you think I'll get DMCA'd for this? Do you think... What? Is this karaoke? Wait, where'd the music go? Hang on, let's try again. If they DMCA me, then like... They'll have to tell me that the game exists. Oh, it's a karaoke. Hang on. You assume the creators are bankrupt. Possibly. Noah was a man of God. He spoke with him each day. But one day God said, Noah, my man, you've got to sail away. He said to Noah, listen hard, you've got to build a boat. Now make sure that it's really big and make sure that it floats. When it was done, old Noah gathered. Please go faster. My rap does not work for this. He gathered animals two by two and led the long procession to his large and floating zoo. It rained and rained till all the world was covered by the flood. But Noah and the ark were safe because he trusted God. In 40 days, the rain eased off and finally it stopped. The animals in the ark were safe. His family cheered her ray. Wait, that didn't rhyme. Then thank God all through the day, up on the mountain top, up on the mountain top. Yeah, that's a nice tune. A plus. Ah, listen and learn. Sing along with the original Noah's Ark theme song. Okay, buddy. And credit time. So we got to this screen before. 
Um, so we're going to again click the credits and thank these people for making the game. David Ellsworth, Gavin Sade, Gavin Sade, Sade, Michael Hardy, David Nichols, David Ellsworth, Stephen Huth. Um, then various character um, voices. Um, again, that classic Macromedia logo, I've never seen it outside this. Uh, hi guys, bye bye. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Let's look at the slideshow. In pair time, how many pairs of male and female animals can you match in two minutes? If you're good at matching, you could get no, into the Ark Hall of Fame. These are humans, Noah. Balloon time. Just move your mouse all over the screen and hear the name of the objects read to you. Okay, alright. He tried. So let's see. There are demos here. Let's click this. I think these are various demos for... Same weekday, same drip tray, paint man. He was the heavy, David Ellsworth was the heavy lister. Lift that, well not heavy enough to, uh, to actually, um, wait, is this the demo of the game? Did I somehow get to the demo? All right, no, this is other demos. Hang on. This is the puzzle part. This is weird. Okay, so. We're gonna click the demos of the other games that probably you can't find on the internet. But we might have a shot. Um, let's do this part. Now, as a disclaimer about that, I want to be—I want to be clear that I don't think the clipping in that audio is from my setup. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard any other clipping today, so. Oh, there's another one. Let's do this. Was the youngest of his brothers and he had a dream he was gonna be the head man. He knows man is about the gold boy's favorite son. He came a corner man and called his man his brother's unhappy. Said he said he did the job his way. So they threw him in a bit to stay. And the wig with the tag with the coat of many colors in tatters said the brother was dead. I thought he really had been sold as a slave and taken to a city in Egypt where he worked in the house of a man named Potter Pop. Things went bad and he didn't get very far. Landed in the jail of the king. But God stole there through everything. Joseph had a God given now when it came dreams. I listened to a one and tell you what it means. Pharaoh had a dream and Joseph came through. Ended up being the Pharaoh's number two. So pretty soon Joseph was the man. I brought all his family. Him, 
I'm just going to double check that clipping isn't on my end. Just one second. Um, I'm fairly sure it's not, but if we just go to the recording section or input devices on Pulse Audio. Hello. Um, I mean, I don't think it's at like 50%. It would be very difficult. We'll have a look in Windows Media in a second. Next one. That's Noah's Ark. And this one doesn't have audio. The Protological Sun. So I think it's time to quit. So let's go back. Um, and let's quit out. Mick, Dave, Nick. Oh, that was some really quick credits. Sounds like the entire song is compressed. Um, let's just head on over to the CD and we'll have a quick look. Um, demo one. Uh, hi guys, my name is... Not you, Noah. It would be... I think it would be... What's this? Joey 8-bit. Was the youngest of his brothers and he had a dream he was going to be the head man. He know his man's about the golden boy's favorite son. He made a quarter man in colors, made his brothers unhappy. Said it See, that sounds better, no? So, and that's from the same machine, so I'm not too sure exactly. Um, so let's just dig into this. Look at these files. We have... Some sound effects. At creation time, using the simple buttons, you can create your own unique animal. Sick. Um, help stuff. So these are all... I have a debugger on here, but we're not going to really dive into it. Uh, so these are all files. Some of these aren't like... Some of these aren't um, AIF files. That's a little weird. There's probably a lot of stuff to kind of dig through here. Um, B track. Oh, it is too zoomed in. You're correct. You're very correct. I'm sorry. We'll just uh, show you stuff. Because I'm not going to unzoom it, I'm sorry. Uh, but I will try and match it up. I'm forgiven this time. Thank you so much. Um, there's a Z file here. Alright, that's probably z zipped or something. D jigsaw demo menu. Oh. <laughs> Demo menu gaming. There's the score, and it has some scores there. It has um, NoahArc.exe, which is just like, um, I guess that's just a flash thing. PM score, yep. S6 drama. Doing saga of the cat. Um, I mean, there's probably not this much about it. That's the setup thing. Um, I guess what really just makes me curious about this is that there's like no README or anything here. Um, if you give me a minute, we might actually go jump over and look up this online. Would you guys be interested in that? In doing some web sleuthing to look at this? We'll probably find nothing, uh, but uh, just give me a minute. Let me uh, switch to my break menu so I can set up OBS. We need a where are they now? I don't know. Um, all right. Let me just switch to the title 
and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, are we back? Testing one, two, three. Um, let's go for a little bit of sleuthing, huh? Sorry, if we search up Noah's Ark, David Ellsworth. I've lost the piece of paper that goes under my keyboard to stop. Oh, no, I didn't lose it. All right. So you can actually kind of see here that there's basically nothing. Um, it's kind of a, a, a dangerous game at this point to kind of scroll down because it will say, like, my location. Um, let's just scroll down a little bit more. Not really anything here, right? Um, so the only thing we have here is Noah's Ark Electronic Research. Uh, I don't think it's on archive.org. We'll have a look. Um, but if we go to Noah's Ark Electronic Resource, we do see that it has like, um, it's by David Ellsworth. Um, there is a Macintosh version or an IBM version for Windows 3.1 or higher, DOS 3.3 or higher. Um, it has an ISBN. It's from 1996 and it's marked as interactive stories based on Bible story of Noah and the Ark. Um, there is a copy. Can I order a copy? Um, but as far as I can tell, this is like the only evidence online that this is. Am I uploading it? Ah, I, I will give it a shot. I'm not too sure. It's like on one hand, it is legal. But on the other hand, you know, it's going to perish. Um, so it does come. I do have the disc. It does say SD COL four and a half inch plus booklet. So I think... That might be that it was on floppies as well. I'm not too sure. Let's hop it over to archive.org. Let's go to David Ellsworth. And we're going to search this up. You know what? There might actually be a website. There might actually be a website for this. Let's do some sleuthing, huh? So. We search up David Ellsworth in the Internet Archive. We do actually have some results here. And this does actually search the archived Internet. So let's uh, search in media here. And see what there is. Um, I don't see anything, but there seems to be a lot of results. Let's search up David Ellsworth Noah. Um, I did also search eBay and there wasn't anything there. Whoa, hang on a second. Whoa, did you see that? Hang on. Let's go back, 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 back. Um, my Storytime Infogrames release by David Ellsworth Productions. Let's have a look here. Um, let's look at David Ellsworth Productions. So is this the same David Ellsworth? It has My Storytime's Infogrames release and My Secret Diary. Now, that is like game development software clearance bin. Oh, I wish. Um, all right. Um, so this has one of a five disc CD ROM pack. And it has the cover. Let's look at the CD ROM covers. You can see how good my internet is. Um, uh, 
Let's see, is this gonna load? Are you gonna load, buddy? Hang on a second. Is my internet actually failing? Oh no. Oh no. All right. Not good. Oh no. Um, I think my DNS is broken, so hang on a second. Yeah. I just got to turn off um, IP version 6 DNS. Um, this also probably means I'm not seeing like, I don't know, well, it seems to have fixed itself. Maybe? I'm not sure. Let's just look here. So we have some pictures here. Oh, look at that. Um, so my secret diary and my little pony, if we zoom in, we can see that it's the same kind of interface here. It's got that back arrow hand and the Q button. So, and it's also got the same art style. It's got that freaking weird dog. Um, so what does it say about, okay. So it has my story time, my secret diary, which looks the same. Let's have a look here. D drive setup. Yep. So let's, uh, zoom out a bit. You need to do a well with the service and upload the ISO. I have a ton of ISOs I need to upload. So my secret diary. Um, so that was published by Infogrames. And that says license from Guildhall Leisure. Guildhall Leisure Services. Uh, let's search that up. Guildhall Leisure Services. Okay, and we have some stuff here. CDS software. So I know CDS software. This probably is just the publisher, but we'll see. Um, yeah, this is just a kind of cheap publisher. I'm not sure if it was specifically in Australia. Um, abandoned where just has junk. All right. That's a bit of a dead end. Unless I want to climb through like stuff that was published. We can search up my story time, my secret diary um, in Google and we'll see if there's any results. It doesn't look like it. There's a site map here. PC zone issue 86 of February 2000. Okay, we'll have a look at that. Um, my story time. All right, let's go and have a look at this special millennium edition, huh? So this is from PC Zone Special Millennium Edition. Let's look at the team here. Do we know any of these people? No, we don't. Um, games. 2000 and beyond. If you thought 1999 was good for gaming, just look at the next millennium holds. All right. Team Fortress 2, Brotherhood of Arms. Okay, buddy. Dead Code, David Ellsworth. Wait, Neozuki says David Ellsworth is one of the known programmers of Arms Armageddon. I don't think that's the same guy, 
but we might find out. We might be doing character assassination here. So this is Team Fortress 2. Oops. Um, how do we drag the cursor around? Oh, we have to use the scroll bars. The rate of fire increases if you have a medic on hand to help feed you the ammo. That's neat. Would I play this TF2? Not really. Um, keep him busy, Tyrone. We'll sneak around the back. All right, buddy. Um, no, this game... Probably not great. All right, Soldier of Fortune. Oh, there's so many scroll bars to click. Um, we're looking for, oh, Tribes 2. Tribes 2 is kind of good. That's the, that uses the torque engine, which, uh, ended up being the engine used in Blockland. That's pretty cool. Oh, and we've got like the, the proto version of Prey there. Um, it looks like Quake, but with nothing going on. Well, okay, buddy. Uh, there's Dungeon Keeper. So they're, they're obviously loading this up with everything at the front. So we're just going to have to dip past it. The Sims, Sacrifice, Republic. Bad Spot was a huge Tribes fan. Really? What was he? Um, Alone in the Dark, Deus Ex. Halo. Is there any Duke Nukem stuff in here? Carmageddon Death Race 2000? Wait. Is that... What is this game? TDR 2000. Oh yeah, that's the trash one. I thought it was 3000. Yeah, don't play that game. Remember he had assets made for a Tribes mod? I don't remember that at all. I know that when he was trying to make um, Age of Time, he had something before that. But I don't quite remember. Um, so are they actually going to show us... <laughs> Daikatana. Jeez. Polygon count beyond calculation. In okay. This is a plan for 2018. Wait, is this... They've written this as if it's from the future. Hang on, let's read this, okay? 2007. Publishers of popular high school shoot 'em up trench coat justice today announced the release of a full price patch disc for the game. The patch corrects a multitude of errors that dogged the original program. 2000 individual sound faults and a DirectX 11.6 compatibility problems that cause monitors to glow, throb, and explode. <laughs> Thousands of players are blinded by shards of glass. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Um, polygon count out of calculation. Let's see this. Predicting the future... Okay, that's just like... Um, I want to read this one. This is satire, so trench coat whatever is an out. Well, uh, renowned games developer Clickety Click today confirmed it had lost all hope of counting the number of polygons appearing on screen in forthcoming released Dunstan MD. Cast the player as a bogus doctor attempting to evade detection in a medical hospital for the elderly. Uses intricately decaled teeth. Int 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 oh, screw it. I, I tried. Intricately detailed three-dimensional graphics for all its character models. The number of polygons appeared to be so huge there's simply no way of calculating it, admits lead developer lead programmer Andy Beckham. That's pretty cool. Um, I enjoy that. Oh, there's more predictions. Let's see. Oops. Oops. I clicked away. I clicked. I clicked the wrong button. 2034. Sexual activity simula simulator better than sex. I haven't left the house for three weeks. Claims feverish team. Then there's Super Eyeball and 
developing own leisure software and then games under fire as a book reading craze. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot, but we got to remember why we're here. Unless that, unless we missed those, like I'm trying to, I don't want to squint too much and everything I click seems to change what I'm looking at. I got to single page mode. That's what happened. Um, that looks a bit like Half-Life, but it's not. That's Unreal Tournament. All right. Was that Elon Musk? <laughs> uh, hang on. No, that's not Elon Musk. Final Fantasy. Half-Life. Half-Life is pretty good. Um, that's a weird looking head crab, isn't it? Home world system shock. The game of the millennium is Half-Life. That's pretty... Uh, I can't not agree with that. Um, internet and email through your TV. Oh, and it plays games as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. The 128-bit 120 Dreamcast processor. Well, well, boys, everyone up to buy a Dreamcast? Quake 3? Oh, yeah, this is just a Quake review. Feeling horny. Ah, it's playing horned. All right, well, it's a magazine. They were so ahead of their time. Yeah. Lee Man's 24 Hours. Planescape Torment. Interstate 82. Oh, is that a sequel to Interstate 76? Or am I mixing those up? Okay. Here we are. We're getting into the... Uh, we're looking for the point and click, I think. Easy CD Creator. We have to get to the, we have to get to the end here. And this is about 3D gaming. OpenGL, sick dude. DirectX 7, wow. The, wow, look, it's a multimedia PC. That's pretty cool. We like multimedia PCs here. All right. It is, is it going to be buried in here? I might have to go back and look at the full text to see which page it was on. Um, and it was secret diary. Which page was this? It doesn't tell me. Oh, it doesn't tell me which page. All right, that's near the end, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to find anything, but we, we must pursue. If we see any images, just call out. I don't want to miss a drop. Is that drive? No, that's, yeah, that's the... All right. If it's in here, then I don't care. I just want an image. Oh, yeah, it's Peter Molyneux. Sick. Need to be following him. All right, so obviously this was just... That was dumped there as something you could mail in and buy. All right. Um, my secret diary. My story time. Um, okay, so let's go to the Wayback Machine, and we'll start having a look around. We searched up David Ellsworth, and let's just have a look. David Ellsworth Productions.com.au. This could be it. Yeah, there's a lot of porn discs on archive.org. It's important to, you know, just archive everything because it's a reflection of our culture. 
you know. This is, pro oh, here we go. Is this it? That looks like the logo. Is this website still up? Oh my God, it's still up, but it's just not in Google. Okay. So let's go to about previous clients, Subway, Shell. So they've pivoted a little bit, I think. Games development. All right. Let's go to our work. Children's interactive titles. The Noah series. So they did actually have Noah's Ark, Jonah and the Whale, Danny and the Lion's Den, Joey and his coat, and Benny the Prodigal Son. Um, so how do I buy, please? Do I just go to his house in Queensland and just demand a copy of his ISOs? Um, I might email him. I'm curious. Um, but what we will search up is now, um, the Noah series. It's won a number of awards and has been localized into six languages. Well, so... The next thing to do here is to go back in time to before they pivoted so hard. Ooh, not liking all those 404s. If someone didn't set their website properly. CD-ROM titles. Ooh. This is not looking good. Mega girls. Uh, let's just try a little bit further in time. The bar is so low for awards. Are you serious? Okay, what's this? It's just orange. It's just orange. I guess 2002 was orange year. Look, buddy. Please don't tell me you just made your website like a flash object. I mean, that's cool, but in retrospect, flash was not not a great thing. All the people arguing about how flash isn't an open... T <laughs> uh, okay, so there was a 404 there. Let's check 2009. What is in the source here? What is happening with your website, buddy? All right. Yeah, oh, it's a flash. It's a flash. It's a... It's a flash. Did that get saved? Um... I don't know. Did it just... That's asking me to download something. Um, I don't have Flash Player on this machine. So we'll just have to ignore that for now. Contact details. Zany fun. Alright. So we're just going to start clicking. <laughs> and so I started clicking. Zany fun. Alright. Semi-finalist of the Australian Internet Awards 2000. Oh, okay, so you click that and you get flashed. And of course, nothing is working. So work in progress, we'll click that. What's working in progress here? Sick. The Australia Web Awards. You don't want to get flashed. All right, so this has some links to Gal Zan. So let's click Gal and we'll click Zan. And then I think this is going to be the back. Yeah. Gal stuff to go in here. All right. The Zany series. So there's a Zany series. 
That would be from Zany Fun, I believed. All right, so we'll look at the design and production and then CD-ROM titles. Graphic design, websites, cartooning, 3D production, interface design. All right, I'm not that interested. Um, anything to click here. There's Swamp. There's Noah and Bronte. And Mega. Knee deep in Swamp. My friend Bronte. The Noah series. So this was like the big thing, I guess. So that's some interesting stuff. And the guy changed the website to be Flash Player. Well, that's, that's nice, I guess. Um, let's go back. Maybe Zany Fun has like the CDs and stuff on it. It redirects to GoDaddy for sale. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe Zany Fun did not work out that well. So there's my story time there. I'm not sure what series that would be. My friend Bronte. Let's just try and go back to the, the website and we'll just see if there's anything that gives us... Well, let's actually just inspect this and just see images 8 rom 8 so is there an images folder we can look at uh what about i guess it didn't archive that for some reason that's a little weird it's a little strange this page has a 2002 version. Do you think he's still racist? I don't think he was racist. I just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's racist. Maybe I'm giving people too much the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm getting the impression this dude was just contracted to make a Noah game. That's what it seems like to me. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but this dude doesn't seem to be really into Jesus stuff on the website. Let's look at the source code here. Um, it's just the object. It's just the flash object. New site, new size and dot swift. Um, kids these days, they don't have to deal with flash player. What, this page just isn't going to work? That's a 404. How do you have like a 404 on your website front page? You should be ashamed. It's a pain to even get Flash working on your machine. What's your machine now, Neoziki? I don't think I've ever asked you what your machine was since like 2009, maybe on MSN. Ubuntu? Since when? Since when? Pirated Windows XP. Yeah, I think my Windows XP was pirated too. I think running, weren't we all? I think, I think everyone was running pirated Windows XP that I knew. Yeah, switching to Linux is kind of the logical thing you do when you uh, do see. Your Windows 10 is pirated. I bought Windows 10 and my laptop that I run it on for business work, it uh, does not support Windows 11. So, don't know what to do about that. Not sure about that one. All right, is this page gonna work? Um, but really, it doesn't look like they have much here. Um, I 
you know what, let's, it's called the Noah series. So let's just search up Jonah and the whale. Let's go through these one by one and look in the Wayback Machine just to see if anyone else is. Actually, let's just search up Jonah and the whale. You bought Windows 10, lost the disc and got the free ISO. Well, they, the Windows 10 that I bought comes on a USB, but you can't like overwrite the USB. Yeah, sometimes they put Windows keys in the BIOS. Um, it's a little strange. Jonah and the Whale, let's search this up. Are you still running Ubuntu now? I mean, I think you just told me you did, but I'm just like thinking, do people still run Ubuntu? I don't know anyone that really runs Ubuntu unless Kaz does. Kaz, no, Kaz is on Manjaro. Jonah and the Whale, Ellsworth. Uh, Let's go to shopping. Yep, it puts my location right in the page. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Google. Um, it was Zubuntu, yeah. Exvis Ubuntu, that's pretty cool. You ran Fedora in college. That's pretty cool. Um, so w where do we go from here? Uh, I could just dump the ISO. Um, if we're going to be like clear about it, I have a ton of ISOs that I should probably dump. Um, but hey, might email this guy. Who knows? I think that's all of it for the stream though. Like, um, yeah. What is this? Is this his own, his old website? Zany fun. All right, well, I think that's everything today. Are you foreshadowing a cyber flood happening? I wish. Um, Did I shut my Windows X Windows machine down? I'm not sure. I think I did. I think it shut down. I'll just look at that later. Oh no, it's not. All right, hang on a second. Let's just switch back to this for lols. Um, let's undo this crop. Uh, is there anything Windowsy anyone wants to see? Just like for the lulls. Uh, transform. Let's do reset transform. And just put this back here. Solitaire. I'm not going to play Solitaire. I hate that game so much. Um. Oh, have I got anything else here? Uh, games. Oh, we do have Action Man. That might be something for next stream, though. And we have a web browser. There's really not much here. That old Mozilla icon. This is actually Retrozilla. And it can actually like connect to modern websites, uh, which is actually like fairly interesting. If we go to tap.com.au, oops, I can't spell. The U key on this keyboard is a little iffy. I might have to change the switch one day. Don't know. Um, it should connect or it might not. Who knows? I ruined it. 
I sprayed this keyboard down a while back to clean it, but I think I ruined the a few of the keys. I mean, they're not really ruined, but like, um, it just makes things more difficult to type. Like, if I tap the U key, instead of just slamming it. It's not a Leopard, it's a Philco Magis Touch, and I uh, recently modded it up. Like, I replaced the uh, firmware in it. Not a firmware, I, I replaced the actual thing. Let me... Oh, look, it loaded. That's pretty cool. Alright, shut down, please. Um, what, what are you so surprised about? Um, let's switch the video capture thing to window capture. And let's switch this. Good night, sweet win me. Um, and I'll just show you my keyboard mods I did. Um, so let me just quickly change this to this. So yeah, I, I, I keyboarded my keyboard up. And this is what my keyboard looks like now underneath. I manually soldered and put all the wires in and put a uh, STM32 blue pill thing in it. So uh, yeah, I, I had way too much time I guess. Anyway, that's now sitting here and before all this happened I cleaned it and I must have ruined one of the switches like the Yuki. Um, and so that's everything. Thanks for coming to my stream. See you all later, Gator.